Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTracker.com, and today we're going to do a product review on the HJC i70 full face helmet. The HJC i70 helmet retails from 179 to 269. Please understand we don't update videos when pricing changes only the product itself has been completely redesigned. This is a full face helmet that offers an integrated drop down inner screen. In the HJC line, this would be the second tier of drop down screen full face helmets. This offers solid value, right? And it's a definite step up from the entry level drop down inner screen HJC. Who is this helmet right for? This is a street rider's helmet. It gives you the flexibility of having that tinted inner shield, right? So you're able to manage varying external light conditions right at your fingertips. This helmet is DOT certified only. It weighs 3.3 pounds in a size medium on our digital shipping scale. Let's talk about sizing and fit now. I measure 58 centimeters on the money intermediate oval head shape. I wore this thing at my desk for an extended period of time to get a really good idea of how it felt. Per their sizing chart, I'm in a medium. That's the size I wore and I got a good comfortable fit. I would say the interior shape of this is intermediate oval. It has a very reasonable on off effort too. It's really comfortable going on and off. Overall, a great fit. I think it'd be pleasant for even the longest of rides. Glasses compatibility. If you wear prescription eyewear and you need to wear your glasses under your helmet, this one does a great job of managing that. Easy in, easy out, and they sit on your nose while you're riding. Let's break down the features and benefits of the i70. Let's start with ventilation. That's one of the most important features for any rider out there. Intake vents can be found here in the chin bar. There's a total of five in that area, one here, two on either side switchable on and off and it has a nice action to the switch. Up here in the crown of the helmet we have switchable vents. I like how those are kind of molded in. It looks a little bit like the Arfa 11 Pro. Those are either on or off. So there's your total of seven intake vents. Exhaust is managed here through this diffuser that's on the back of the helmet. There's a couple of holes in that area. We'll show you all this when we get the interior out of the helmet. This is a polycarbonate shell. It offers two different external shell sizes with two different internal EPS liners. Fully removable, washable, replaceable interior, both top pad and cheek pads. We'll show you how to get those out in the second part of this video. It's got your drop down inner screen. We've already shown you how that works. The optically correct clear face shield that comes installed on the helmet has a centrally located lock, multiple detents. I really like the centrally located locks. To me, that's just the most efficient and accurate way to do that. And it really helps to get the best possible seal from your helmet shield. This shield is also pin lock ready. If you want true fog free performance, buy the pin lock insert installed in this helmet. It is already prepped and ready to go. Double D ring retention system with a little snap to kind of tidy up the excess. In the second part of this video, I'm going to show you how to change the shield and how to remove the interior and also give you a closer look from the inside out. Okay, now let's take the i70 apart. We'll start with the shield. To remove your shield, first disengage the lock, bring it all the way to the upright most position. Then I want you to grab a hold of this little trigger here and just kind of pull back. If it doesn't jump out right away, I want you to kind of grab it while holding the trigger back, wiggle it around and pull out. It'll release itself from its mounting point. Same thing on the other side like so. Give you a close-up look at the shield ratchet mechanism. Reinstallation. Support the helmet like so. Kind of mimic that upward most position for the shield. And if you look, you'll see where the slots align with the tabs on the shield. Find those and kind of put a little inward pressure. It'll jump in. You'll hear an audible click indicating that it is firmly seated. Repeat the process on the other side. Before riding in the helmet, what I want you to do is operate the shield up and down completely a couple of times to ensure you have it installed correctly. To remove the interior, I always like to start with it, removing the shield. If 
you don't have a foam ring like this to support the helmet, you can just put a towel down on the table. To remove the cheek pads, you now to slide your fingers in between the back of the cheek pad and the internal EPS of the helmet. There are three snaps in total. Once you've released all three snaps, grab it here at the front. I want you to pull out and back at the same time. Rotate it out all the way. Repeat the process for the other cheek pad. Quality of the helmet is quite good. HJC definitely has, you know, over the years made great strides in improving their overall quality and it really shows on all their current offerings. To remove the top pad, you got two snaps here at the back. Release those in the same manner that you did the cheek pads. I want you to slide your fingers underneath the top pad and kind of grab as close to that plastic channel as you can. Pull back. If it doesn't release easily, use your thumbnail to release the tab. until you've gone all the way around and completely removed your top pad. Give you a look at that. Looks like there's some reflectives built in to the very bottom of the neck roll here. It's kind of hard to tell, but it doesn't look like there's some anthracite color under there. Inside the helmet, you can see we have pockets to accept a universal Bluetooth device if you choose to install one. Channeling for the ventilation in the EPS. You can see we've got two holes back here, two holes up front, and they have channeling all the way down the brow to help manage that hot spot that you get by not having the vent lower on the helmet in that brow area. That can be somewhat effective, right? It allows the air to move front to back and then move out the back of the helmet. Still, once again, I'll stand firm on what I said that the integrated drop-down shield helmets never ventilate quite as well as a true full face that has ventilation in the brow area. All in all, what do I think? This is a price point piece, right? This isn't an overly technical, you know, super high-end helmet, but HJC's done a good job. The overall quality is good. The bang for the buck is very strong with this. If you're a street rider looking for that drop-down inner screen, I think this is one of the better options out there today. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself, and I'm here to help you get the best possible experience from your next helmet purchase.